Hey guys, it's Retro Gang Gang. Today we're going to stop at Tom Blaster Toys. Let's go! Gang Gang. All right, Retro Gang, we are on our way to Time Blaster Toys. Because today, Keith got an amazing collection in that is nothing but street sharks. So we're gonna head over to the shop. We're gonna take a look at all of these awesome action figures. There's a lot of these figures that I haven't even seen in person because by the time street sharks were out and at their height, I was definitely into other things. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to roll through and look at all these figures. So come along with me and let's go. This was a uh, Facebook pickup, which is insane that this existed, but it did. So we're talking, um, I think there's 19, and then I brought one from home. So yeah. we're going to be showing off 20 Street Sharks figures. Do we want to go least important to most or just total randomness? Because there's some uh, not impressive boys. In Let's go least to most. Okay, that'll yeah. be fun. Okay, so... Cool figure, but he's probably, we're probably going to show him first just because he's got some damage to the nose. Yeah. But this is Moto Streaks from Series 3, I believe. I dig the rollerblades. So. Yeah. Really awesome figure. Super big wheels, though, huh? Chunky. But he ain't ever falling down, man. That's, Mo no. that's Moto Streaks. Another cool figure, but kind of on the lower scale just because he's missing his tentacles. Oh, he's like or his a antennae, or a crab say. or something. His name is Slobster. Slobster. So yeah, he's one of the Street Sharks' adversaries. Slobster. That's a cool villain. He had his antennas. Thankfully, I have him at home. He uh, looks he's... like someone the Power Rangers would fight. You're right. Yeah, hanging out with Piranha's right. head and uh, that other guy. He's All cool. Right. Another, not that. Cool, right? Like, oh, look at this guy. And then you flip it open. Yeah, I was surprised when I opened it and there was a dude in there. Yeah, so this is like the evil doctor guy. You know who he reminds me of? The uh, bad guy from Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're Dying right. Patch. Yeah. Got that cue ball looking head. Yeah. So he's got like a gun that's supposed to attach to his arm. I'm okay. debating whether to keep him and get the gun or... Is it only the gun he's missing? It's only the gun. I wonder how much the gun is. This figure himself isn't really even on eBay, so yeah, I don't know. But uh, who else we got? So I think next we'll do this dude, Jetpack Jab. He's cool. So he is cool, just because it's a very unique um, version of Jab, right? Being gold plated, so he comes with like a giant jetpack that would fit on his body and kind of go over onto his head. Right. I. Um, Thankfully, this figure came with the jetpack, but I kept the jetpack at home and put it on my jab. Absolutely. So, there's Jab. Here's uh, Winnie, my son. Here's his favorite street shark. Kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's like the Transformer meets uh, street shark. So, it's tur his name's Turbo Jab. So, he's Jab the hammerhead, but he becomes a car. And you'd think like there'd be a whole series like this, yeah. right? There's not. It's just, just him. It's just him. He's just the only one. He's just like a series three release. Oh, you think they'd make like a bad guy as a car? At least you could chase someone around. Yep. Nope. He's the only, only street shark made, other than the vehicles themselves. Right. But the only figure made to look like a car, right there. Interesting. Here's a super cool figure. 
and I'll show you why I'm not going to keep him because he was on my short list. This is Pool Shark, pool Ripster. Shark. Yeah. So he's supposed to have a, you know, like a pool cue. Right. So that's really, really cool and a cool version. He's got the leather coat. Here's why I'm not taking him home with me. Oh, top heavy boy. Just he like he does not. Well, he's in like cowboy boots. Yeah, man. And like <laughs> it's like totally curved, right? And they're so, hollow. That doesn't so help. So there is just no chance this dude is gonna stand. So. But if you had the cue, maybe you could yeah. have that hit the, the floor and then he would kind of balance Kind of like it. with the Donatello's bow staff Absolutely. back in the day. Yep. So he's, see, I'm going to lean him up against this Technodrome. So shout out to this Technodrome. Yeah, look at this beauty. So, so nice. You want to see it twice. There's a second one up there. You know where to come. Okay, let's uh, keep it going. Uh Cool figure, but just kind of, so this is series three. This is Ravenous Ripster. Yeah. Not really anything special. I mean, he came with guns, so no guns. If he had the guns, that would probably make him right. pretty cool, but he's pretty cool. He's got uh, brass knuckles. Here's a dude we haven't seen yet. Series two, the, the big dog right here. He's so awesome. This is Slam Moo. Big Slam Moo. <laughs> got the football pants on. Looks like he plays for the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Absolutely. Cool figure, but not the coolest. Uh, I got a couple banger slam moves to show you in a yeah. minute. He'd be the least impressive of them all. All right. Uh, Streaks, Series 3, hockey version, missing his stick. If he had the stick, he'd be cool. So is that supposed to be like smoke? Under his feet? Or? I'm not sure, man. And sometimes when you see this figure, this whole base is gone. Really? So kids must have just ripped, but it like it feels like it's a part of him. Right. So yeah, you know, 90s, right? San yeah. Jose Sharks. Absolutely. Like, series three streaks. All right. Uh, all right. Next up's probably got to be this dude. Just classic mm -hmm. series two metallic version of Ripster. Got that cool blue. Again. Cowboy boots, boots, right? With those heels. Come on, Ripster. Yeah, but he, despite that, he stands pretty easily, man. They, like, Mattel yeah. balanced these dudes out. Like, he ain't falling over. Yeah, given the size of the heads and everything. Okay, we got a couple more, and then we got the we got the ones I'm taking home with me. Yeah, we'll yeah. the secret stash. Yeah. All right, so here's another Series 2. I love the hammerhead. Yeah, this is Jab the Hammerhead. He's cool. Series 2 version of him. Okay. So Series 1, he's got, like, camouflage pants and... I like this one. This is a version of Jab I have at home. Okay. Cool. Yeah, if I didn't have him, I would be taking him home with me. So he's sweet. All right. Speaking of bringing home with me, I've got a couple that I now intend on right taking here. home. So this dude's name is Reptile. He's so, another one of the villains. He comes with a lot of stuff, right? He so is massive. first of all, here's his backpack, which is awesome. Attaches at the wrist. I looked this piece up. Yeah. It's a $75 piece. Whew. So, and this figure itself is really nice, but the problem is, so like, he's got like a missile okay. that kind of completes his mouth. So that's missing, and then he has two little things that go in his hands. So he's missing a lot of stuff, but he has the, the most expensive part. So I'm going to... And I'm gonna display him like this, dude. His paint is so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna display. Yeah. I'm gonna display him this way until I get that piece. So you won't see the gaping hole. So for now, he's a placeholder, but he's pretty great. So what's he worth in this condition? Probably, uh, probably a hundred because yeah. if this is eighty. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because a hundred percent complete, he's probably about one fifty. So he's cool. Very cool. All right, here's another one I'm taking home with me. This is Super Slamu. Dude, so, superhero. All yeah. The way. Yep. Yep. So Slamu as a superhero, basically, That's got sweet. his trademark shield. Shield missile. Yep. Shield missile. You gotta make sure you get it just right so that it goes in. But yeah, he's he's rad. He's That's coming good. home. I like him just because he's so unique, right? Right. Like compared to a Slamu, like he looks like a different figure. Absolutely. Okay, and we got a few more here. So there's four left. Ready? Ready. All right, we're gonna go with this dude next. Look at this guy. One of my favorites. This is his name's Manta Man. Removable uh, boomerang type of thing. Straight up Batman. Yeah. Re really cool world. though. Yeah. Like a unique character. Not one of the four brothers. But he's coming home with me for sure. Because mm -hmm. is he complete with that? He is complete. Yes. Yeah, he's complete. So he's cool. 
All right. Uh, we'll do we'll do this Moby Lick. So here we go. Iconic pack. Iconic right? character Moby Lick. Super super cool. The box is like great. The only issue is this particular Moby Lick does not have his hat. Really? So he's missing his hat, which is too bad. So outside of that, though, figure's awesome, man. Moby looks sweet. He's got that lever on the back. Mm -hmm. You crank it, and his tongue like twists. Yeah. So this is a cool figure. And then here's a uh, Street Sharks. A little bit of now drop a little bit of knowledge here. So on the back, like I'm looking through these, and I realize I'm like, dude, I've never seen this figure. He never got released, but he's on the back. Ten to kill. Ten to kill. Yeah, he's a bad guy. And once I started looking at him and like his mold, mm -hmm. I'm like, man, he looks like those. Um, Attack of the Killer Tomato he figures does. I have. Mm. So I'm like, I wonder if they repurposed okay, Attack Maybe of the... they did. I think they did, man. But he never came out, so we'll never know. He's cool. Okay. But yeah, he's cool. So that's this, and then two final figures we will go. So this is Series 5. Some of the rare Street Shark figures you're going to find. Mm -hmm. So this is Streaks. What did I say his name was? Stingshot Streaks. Stingshot Streaks. Yeah, and he has other say. he has other stuff that's missing. So he's got, you know, armor here. He's got lower jaw armor, and then he might have something on his fin. Right. But super super rare figure. Just a total uh, repaint of yeah. Moto Streaks. And they gave him some armor. Yeah, gave him armor, repainted him. But he's super cool, super rare. One of the more valuable Street Sharks. And then I'm gonna say. Right here is the most valuable one of the lot. Mm -hmm. So this is Trapjaw Ripster Series 5. So he's got removable armor on his face with his jaw. He's got the fin armor right here. But to be 100% complete, he's got like a trap, like a snare trap, and mm -hmm. then like a little chain. He's cool. But even without those accessories, he's a really valuable figure. Probably, what, 350, 400 yeah. in this condition. So really cool. I would be taking him home, but I already have him, so he is up for sale if you need him. But here's so here's the lot, here's the spread. And uh, let's take so the ones I'll be taking home with me today are Stingshot Streaks, Man to Man, Slugger Slamu. Who else? Super Slamu, and then for Winnie, for my son. Turbo jab. Those are cool. So these are the brothers coming home today. The rest are up for sale in the shop. By the time you watch this video, they will probably all be gone. More than likely. <laughs> but pretty cool. They never come around. So to get uh -huh. this many at once, not sure it'll ever happen again. Not in this size of a lot. I go Rocky Balboa action, doo 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 doo, doo doo doo.